welcome to a brand new video. Today I am sat in fuming, uh, not for very long though, because we're going to clean the Astra today, which is over there. She looks rather filthy, and so does fuming. Although fuming isn't lucky enough to get a wash today, she'll be getting a wash soon. Um, I've bought a new wing for fuming on the passenger side. That's currently with a friend of mine at the moment. Uh, getting ready for paint. Obviously, I don't know how long that's going to take because the current climate that we're at at the moment, it might take a while. But point is, is I've got the wing. It's going to get painted and it's going to look rather nice. And we're going to get it fitted to the car and amend any rust on that side. Plus, we've got new plastic trims. Uh, I will have a piece of roll footage for you that shows you the uh, new plastics I've put on the car thus far. But also, I've bought something else. Um, I've bought these limited edition badges here. Now, you guys are probably going to be crying at me on the internet thinking, why are you putting limited edition badges on a 1998 Corsa BLS? Uh, and the reason being is because it is limited edition. You won't find another one of these in this exact thing. You know, it's an automatic polar blue, black carpet, no grey seats, LS with the headlights that I've got in them, the spoiler on the boot, it's it's slowly looking like a complete different car from when I had it new. And you guys would have seen that in the, the last video that I put up, which was a collage of videos uh, of fuming thus far. I've been daily in fuming now for the last couple of days, and I've done 190 miles, or just about to clock over, 119, uh, 190 miles, 190 miles since... Um, I put fuel in her. Now, to give you guys an idea how good fuel is with fuming, let's just uh, turn the ignition on and have a look. Turn the fans off. So bearing in mind, I started the journey with that amount of mileage uh, on an empty tank. You guys are probably gonna say this is poor, but she's just below half a tank. Um, actually, no, she's a bit lower than half a tank. We, we filled it to the brim, kind of, and we've done 190 miles, daily and her going back and two on the motorway, and this is the mileage she's getting, and that's the fuel. Um, now, she's very, very clean. In fact, she's four miles away from 69k mileage dead on. And she's got 1,000 miles, and then she'll clock over uh, 60,000... She'll clock over onto 70,000 miles which for a car that thought he was going to die with rotten tyres, rotten exhaust, and this and the other on 63k, she's deserving of a birthday. <laughs> but another thing we got as well, excuse the um, jacket in the back, we finally found a matching rear seat. So the rear seats actually match this time. And I've still got the old seat, which is in the shed. I'm just waiting for the, the skips to reopen, and then I can chuck that in. But... Uh, Fuming's doing well. Fuming is doing well. She's not going to get a clean for a little bit now because obviously I need to do the wing. I'm still going to daily her. The Astra is going to sit there at the moment and she's covered in tree sap. We're going to probably take the Astra out later just for a mini drive. Um, but first of all, we need to give her a wash. And these limited edition badges will be going on. Um, I'm only putting... Th well, I've got four of them, really. Um, for the two wings, the back... And I'm not putting one on the front, I'm putting one on the inside somewhere. But I'm not going to put one on that wing over there because that's the wing that's getting changed. I'll show you why that wing's getting changed now. This is why we're going to be taking away this broken, very faded and damaged wing. Um, so, first of all, if I go over here, you can see it's protruding out a bit. And that's because we damaged <coughs> that part right there. You can see here it clipped the curb. So it's dented this here, pushed this up, and it's broken that. So this whole thing's getting replaced. Not only that, the, paint, the paint's not even the right colour. Um, plus it's all, as you can see, starting to fade. So instead of fixing it, plus there's a little bit of rust right there. We're just going to change the wing. Uh, there will be more rust under here as there was on that side. I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. But uh, dailying her, she's dirty but not terrible. 
What is his name? Sticker. But, um... If I move this forward, those seats match really, really well now. So I'm pleased with them. We're going to put them on. And then this car's going to look pretty well. Just needs a, a clean. But more onto the Astra. Look at all this. Bear in mind, I haven't even used the Astra. Yeah. I've only used it a couple of times since I cleaned it. Look at this. This is a plain example. Right. I'll give a, a quick start. Where's my keys, first of all? There they are. Right. Okay. Just turn the fan off. Clutch in. Start of the issue is nothing. As if it wasn't set. So uh, we're going to go and wash her now. We'll also sort out the interior as well. The interior needs a clean, as you can see. A bit of dust. Because uh, we are still going to be using the Astra. You know, the Astra still got like a full tank. So um, we need to give her a clean. So. Uh, we're going to let her run from it. Uh. Open the window so it doesn't lock. I'm going to do a cut shot, which I've never done before. So this is it now. And... Boom. Much better. Actually looks groom. There we go. Just need to do the... Uh, Interior next shouldn't take me too long, but everything is looking very good. This is just a quick video, guys. By the way, you would have already noticed. I've already had my hair cut, but I've still got greys. There's still loads of greys there. We're going to be doing some more stuff on the course soon, and hopefully a little bit on the Astra just to sort of tidy things up. Um, but the virus is uh, still among us at the moment. Oh, let's get in the car properly. The virus is still among us at the moment, but hopefully uh, not for too long. We've still got bits to do on the uh, old little fumes today. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick video, just an update of what I'm doing, what I've done. We're going to put the badges on that tomorrow. Um, that won't be on video, but it will be on the next video that I do. Um, yeah, there's a few things I've done. I've obviously done the seats in there. Uh, I'm sweating. Like a bitch right now, um, but car's nice and clean. I've shown you what we're doing with the Corsa and a few bits of it, you know, that have been done, and how dirty it is, and how I've been daily in it. Um, if you guys like my videos, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment uh, saying what you've been doing during this virus stuff. You know, have you been washing your cars? Have you been doing stuff to your cars? What have you been doing? Any painting? Mm -hmm. Let me know. Uh, it's interesting to read your comments at this time because there's nothing else to do. I mean, I still work. Uh, but it's always nice to know what other people are doing during this pandemic. And hopefully it won't last any longer because it's boiling. It's nice weather and I want to go to the beach. <laughs> Especially in that little Corsa. That's a Peugeot. That, that, oh, fuck's sake, that there. <laughs> um, even though it doesn't have air conditioning. The Astra does have air conditioning, thankfully. Uh, I'm sweating buckets, are you? <laughs> I really am. Um, before we end this video, I'm going to do a little drive with the uh, with the Astra. 
and put the air con on. Okay guys, so the Astra is nice and clean. This is probably going to be one of the first videos you've seen for a while of me driving the Astra. Uh, and is everything okay with it? I suppose, yes it is. Everything seems to be okay with the Astra. The MOT is soon. Uh, I believe it's the end of July, or maybe the end of June. I think it's more so the end of June that the MOT is due. Do I think she'll pass? Well, I hope so. I really do hope so. But, the exhaust note sounds much better now. So, put my foot down. <laughs> that sounds much better. Uh, have I fallen in love with the exhaust sound that I've seen a comment on? Now I've put the exhaust on. Well, yes. Uh, I, I do love it. the sound that the car makes now. It's much better than when it was. Because it used to be very, sometimes maybe too quiet uh, for my liking. Uh, and when you're driving and if you're having an engaging drive all you're hearing is just as I put it you guys might not agree as a hairdryer noise it didn't sound very well you roll the cars you would use to make uh, a nicer noise we say like the fuming for example there's nothing been done to that exhaust other than it's been stayed put stainless you know this is just a base what's on this is just a standard exhaust with a back box delete um, but the back box that was on this Astra was huge and because it was so huge it was so quiet um, and it, now I've took that off it sounds much better and have I fallen in love with the car again absolutely you know dropping down a gear just to overtake and or just go on the motorway sort of thing it's nice, it makes a refreshing change. Um, do I still love this car? I said in one of my videos, if you guys remember when I said I was gonna leave the car as it is, that I would be selling it in three years time. Do I still love the car? I love the car, yes. But I've got in the back of my mind that I wanna buy something other than Vauxhall, something that's a little bit more sporty. You know, this car's nice, it's sporty in the way that it handles, which is really good, it is such a good car to drive, and it, the steering is well weighted, it drives nicely as you can see. But would I, would I change it? I probably still would, just for an upgrade, possibly. Again, we're gonna have to see on that, it depends financially what's going on. This virus isn't doing very good for anybody's banks at the moment. I think they're all crying at the moment. But I still have one more thing I want to do to this car, and that's tint the windows at least at the back uh, to about thirty percent. You know, it's not too dark enough that it's legal as well. Um, but also, I want to try and get rid of that dent in the boot. Uh, the front bonnet is scratched to fuck. Uh, which pisses me off, I'll be honest with you. Because the paint on these cars, they're just not as well put on as the older cars. Now I realise that the older cars have oil-based paints, we have water-based paints on these cars, but if you compare this, or the paint thickness, I think it is, on the Vauxhalls in comparison to the Volkswagens and some other major manufacturers like BMW, they are completely different. The voxels just tend to scratch a lot more. So I might want to get that addressed. I'm not sure yet. There is a large scratch across the bonnet on this, which uh, polishes up pretty well, but it comes back after a while um, that I might want to tend into. But stone chips I might as well just leave because that's just down to the car uh, and, and all stones are on the road, sadly. But would I keep this car is the main question and like I say I would probably be better going for an upgrade 
uh, for something more powerful, maybe something more, I don't know. I mean, this car is a good car, don't get me wrong. It's very comfortable, it's nice and easy to drive. It's very responsive for a 1.6. Uh, it's got air conditioning, it's got everything I could possibly need apart from Bluetooth. But sometimes it's nice to make a change. I've been looking at other cars other than the Vauxhall. Don't get me wrong, I love the looks of these cars. I love the look of this Astra. Every time I look in the reflection, it's just a nice look, especially when the car's clean, which it now is. But, um,. You know, I've dreamt of having other cars like maybe a 1 Series or a 3 Series. I've even had a look at an old 5 Series, but I would have to sell fuming for that. Um, or something like a Merc. Or some, just something else. Something that's changed. I have been looking at the new insignias. I have still been looking at the Astra GTCs, especially the ones in red. But I'm thinking, is it worth going for another Vauxhall after I've had four? I don't know yet. Would I still go for upgrade if I wanted another Vauxhall? Depends. My next car is definitely going to be a turbo. I said that last time and I failed on that miserably, but I did end up going for a car that was reliable, and this is very, very reliable. Um, so I guess we're going to have to see on that point and see what happens. Uh, because that solely depends financially um, and if this car is reliable. I mean, I've still got another year and a half, maybe. Maybe even longer, because this car's not giving me any issues. So I won't be in a rush to sell, especially if I've still got fuming, of course. But we're going to have to wait and see, aren't we? <laughs> well then, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are still safe and well. Um, and of course, you know, with all this going on, it's difficult for everybody. And I hope that you enjoy the videos and the content that I'm making, even if it is a bit out of the blue and boring sort of type things. But as an update to you guys, everything on my side seems to be okay. I'm still at work, I'm still earning, still driving, still breathing, even though I'm asthmatic. And I, I'm not saying that in a funny way at all, I'm just saying that I am on my side okay and I'm still going I'm still happy you know and uh, life will go on and uh, things will get back to normal hopefully very soon all right then guys take care I'll see you guys in the next one if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and like I just said I'll see you guys in the next one take care <laughs>